The satellite image shows the strange triangle has sides that stretch to around 350 feet in length. In each corner and in the center is what appears to be glowing lights that form a regular pattern. Someone or something made it. There's no doubt about that. The only way to find out is to investigate the site from the ground. So Gruber heads deep into the outback. Satellite coordinates are, are leading me to this remote place. This part of Australia is really weird. Not a whole lot of people come here. All kinds of weird things are supposed to have happened here. But as a reporter, Gruber is interested in facts, not rumors. I'm a science journalist. I have to go to this spot and see for myself. What we do know is that pilots have reported strange events over this part of Australia. On October 7, 2008, Qantas Flight 72 suffered a sudden and dramatic computer system malfunction. The plane was plunged into a series of dives that threw its passengers around the cabin, causing over 100 injuries. No one has been able to fully explain this. The onboard aircraft systems are so tested to the limit that you can't help but speculate that something external was involved. This and other strange events lead to wild speculation. Gripped by the satellite image, online communities make a remarkable observation. This site in the Australian outback is on the direct opposite side of the planet to the Bermuda Triangle. Some people say that there's a geometric relationship between these two areas. Draw a line through the center of the Earth, and these two locations connect. Could it be that there's something about the Earth, maybe the magnetic field, that does cause interference, which could lead to the loss of a ship or an aircraft? If Gruber can establish what the Outback Triangle really is, it might provide an answer. It should be in that field somewhere. But first, he has to find it. Whatever that was taken by that photograph should be right here, right in front of me. But there's nothing here. The triangle captured from space is around 350 feet wide and brightly lit. So where is it gone? The only thing that's different now are those wind turbines over there. Could people have mistaken the construction of a wind farm for this strange triangle? There's no turbine on the spot where Gruber has been led to by his GPS. But armed with this new information, satellite analyst Amanda Marchetti has a theory. I think they were using some sort of antenna or some sort of sensor to test if this was an appropriate place for a wind farm. There's a very tall structure going up. You can see the shadow that it cast on the ground. What I think the three portions of that triangle are, are the cables that are just helping to keep that pole steady. 